right, number seven, we want to find the correct graph and also find the x and y intercepts. So I'm going to do this one all on paper. I might do the next one all on the, the calculator. We have x minus 2, x plus 3. And 4 minus x. So looking at this, we have 1, 2, 3 x's, and then I have a positive times a positive is a positive times a negative. So I'm looking at a negative x to the third. I know my graph should be going up on the left and down on the right, which the first two match and the other two do not. So either one or two. And then once we start finding our x-intercept, so if you set this equal to zero, you get x equals two. And then you subtract three, you get x equals negative three. And then here, you would move the x over and you have x equal positive four. So these would be your x-intercepts. <clears throat> so let's see which one has two, negative three, and four. This one doesn't even have a negative um, x-intercept over here, so this is going to be our graph and then we can find our um, y-intercept by plugging in a zero to everything. Zero minus two, zero plus three, and four minus zero. So I have a negative two times a three times four. And that will give us negative twenty-four. So we have 0, negative 24, and those order pairs will be 0, 2, 0, negative 3, 0, and 4, 0. is 0 and negative 24. Alright, so this one <clears throat> I'm going to do um, with the calculator just to kind of show you some variability. Um, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 x's, so we're looking at x to the 4th. And it's positive, so both ends should be going up. And it may do some, some up and down in the middle, but both endpoints should be going up. So this one's out, this one's out, this one's okay, and so is this one. So one of these last two. Um, I could find those by hand, but again, I want to do it with the calculator this time just to show. <coughs> <coughs> Y equal, I'm going to clear out the first one and I'm going to type it just like it is. X squared, parentheses, X minus 1, and then parentheses, X plus 3. You can graph it. Okay, so you can see that this is the correct graph. It's still graphing that zero that I had. And we have one, two, three intercepts. And it looks like our y-intercept is the same as one of the x-intercepts, where it crosses the y-axis right here. Looks like that zero, zero. Um, but we can compute each of them. I'm going to do second, trace, five. And I'm just going to hit enter three times, because mine just says first, second, and guess. So I get an order pair zero zero. So that is both an x and a y intercept. <clears throat> I don't think you can see what I'm writing because this calculator is in the way. All right, I'm gonna do it again. Second trace for calculate in option number five. And this time I'm gonna move my cursor closer to um, a different x-intercept. And I'm gonna hit enter 
first curve, enter second curve, enter for guess, and it gives me negative three zero. And then I'm gonna do that same thing one more time, second, calculate, and then option number five, and then enter on first curve, and this time I'm gonna scroll all the way to the right. So as long as your cursor is closer to the intercept that you want to find, it will pick it up whenever you have the calculator app. But when you're doing the phone app, you have to trap the X intercept between left and right um, arrows. And I get one zero. Again, you can also go to the table if I do second graph table. Um, you can scroll up and down, but you're looking at the first order pairs, trying to see when we get zeros. Kind of hard to, to do that because you don't know where the zeros are unless you graph it and look at it. So once you graph it, then you can say, okay, I got one on the negative side. I have one close to zero and I have one close to one. So that's what you do. You just scroll up to see those negative numbers. And if you see that whole number zero, then you can kind of see that order pair there. And then you can also see when y is zero, x is zero in the middle. And then you have that other one. They're right back to back. So you're looking for those zeros on that side for your x-intercepts and zero on this side for your y-intercept. So in this case, um, that was our graph, right? I think I was, I was sending the wrong one. Nope, this is our graph. And then... <clears throat> order pairs zero zero and then we have negative three zero and then one zero and then the y-intercept just duplicates that zero zero